Hello everyone and welcome to a new lesson of the Arabic language. Sorry for the late post, I've been busy lately and uh, I've been having some technical problems with the recording program. Anyway, uh, let's see three new letters today. So, our first letter for today would be this letter. This letter is called Harf al -kha. The pronunciation is Kha. It's a bit difficult to, to pronounce, but um, I'll get like special videos on different pronunciation and details. Right now I'm going through the alphabets, like just brushing through, so. Um, okay, so let's see how would this sound like with the uh, with, alamat uh, at tashkil. So it will be Kha. Khu. Khi. So it's Kha. Khu. Khi. Okay, let's go now to see how would we write it. Um, you know in three different places so uh, yeah so at the beginning of the word th uh, this letter would look like this it's exactly like the ha like the jim but it has a dot um, a dot above it so this is when it comes in the beginning of the word and uh, after that we have in the middle of the word it would be like this again nothing new you saw this before and uh, at the end of the word it will be just connected like so just let me fix this yeah, something like that Anyway, so um, writing this letter wouldn't be that hard, but the pronunciation, again, I'll repeat, kha, so it would be <coughs> with, um, with alamat tashkil, it will be kha, khu, khi. Okay, so let's move on to the next letter. So next up we have a new shape. It's a different kind of a letter, so pay attention. So this letter looks like this. Okay. So let me write it again. Just bigger way. Okay. So it looks like this. So this letter is called Harf Adal. The pronunciation for that would be Da. It's like a D in English. It's a Da. So let's start um, all the three possibilities. It would be Da, Du, D. Again, it's Da, Du, D. Okay. So how would you write that um, in a word? Well, let's see. The, um, in the beginning of the word, it will look the same, except that we'd, you would leave um, a small distance, and then you'll write the new letter here. And uh, something to mention here that I didn't mention before that the the next letter that's uh, that goes uh, af just after the small gap will be written as if it was written at the beginning of the word so uh, <coughs> I'll give a small example if I write the da and after that I would have the let's say the kha. so you see the kha is not connected from the front it's as if it was the beginning of the word again 
so it's like that. This is just, uh, you know, separate things. And uh, in the middle of the word, it will be connected from the front like this. You would leave also here a small distance for the next letter to follow. And then uh, the, um, at the end of the word, it would just be like that. So it's just connected from the front with something and nothing follows. So it's a pretty easy letter to pronounce, I think. It's a da, it's like a D. So it's a da, do, di, the three um, pronunciations. So please, if you're not following me, I uh, would recommend that you would go to the previous lessons because it's all built on that. So again, it's da, do, di. Okay, so let's go to the next letter before I run, uh, I run out of time. And this one is a similar letter to the one that we just saw. It's exactly the same way to write it. Oops. Okay, and uh, just you have a dot above it. The pronunciation is the. The. Yeah, if, if you noticed, it's exactly as... Um, as you as you say the in English it's the okay but now if I want to add the pronunciation um, the alamat al-tashkil it will be the 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 again the just like the English the, 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 okay. So how would you write that? Well, it's exactly the same way as the previous letter. And quickly again, at the beginning of the word, it would be like this: small gap, then the next letter. In the middle of the word, it would have something from the front, then like this, and a dot also a small gap then the next letter at the end of the word it will um, be connected from the front like that and just like this so as you can see here's three letters that we learned today again it's okay let me write that again it's the ha da and the so last time I'll pronounce that with the three pronunciations that we have is ha hu chi da du di the du the so that's it um, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, please rate and comment. See ya.